This is Brandon, I'm Sarah, and of course, our beloved Ico. Frustrated by the ever-increasing cost of living, we sold everything, went out on a limb, and left our traditional life on land behind. We built a new kind of dream together, and now get to call this slice of paradise home. We're learning how to navigate this unique life off the grid and on the water. So grab a drink and join us for the ever-evolving adventure that is keeping afloat. Load up, bear. Adventure time. Check out that stump. That'd be a good one to put on someone's porch. What would you guys put up there on the top? Maybe you could uh, kind of hollow it out and put something in there, or maybe you could flip it over. I was thinking Yeah, you can tell these rocks are like so smooth and well worn and old. just never get over how crazy it is in the winter like everything here is underwater all the way way to down there you know to the tree line things are just so much different here in the winter I've never seen a place where a lake fluctuates like this and it's just it's just a different world it's pretty awesome in some ways <laughs> okay, girl, you want to go for a hike? Man, lots of hog activity in here. Super rutted up. Careful, Ico. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, good girl. Oh. That scared my mama heart. As you can see, we've been loving every bit of the slightly more pleasant weather that the first few weeks of springtime have brought. 
Although the trees haven't quite leafed out yet, the trillium, one of my favorite kinds of wildflowers, are blooming, the sun is setting later, the critters seem to be waking up and moving about more, and the lake has just begun to rise again. Our world feels like it's both spinning quicker as work schedules start picking up, and slowing down as we tune ever more into each little change that heralds the onset of the warmer season Brandon and I cherish so dearly. I go, maybe not so much. Our little snow angel is already missing the dead of winter, no doubt, but as we know, there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. This week, it was time for some spring cleaning, in a variety of forms. And speaking of the snow angel, we started with her. Iko shedding truly never ends, but she does kind of, or at least Akitas are supposed to have like a twice a year shedding. A summer coat and a winter coat. So um, right now she's shedding her winter coat and putting on her springtime and summer coat. Oh yeah. When all the birds come in to make their nest, they grab this hair and when they nest up in the marina, they've got her hair all in their nest. I guess it keeps the eggs warmer. It's pretty cool, it happens every year. Who's a good baby girl, yes. Oh, and for the kisses. Oh, you are so much fur. Yes, Miss Bear. with our spring cleaning are gonna go and clean up our little cove here. So one of the downsides of the lake coming up, although it's really exciting for us because we get sick of looking at the rocks all winter, is that it brings in a lot of the trash that has settled out on the banks. And so it starts floating around and finds a new home. Inevitably, some of that is gonna end up in our cove too. It doesn't matter whether it's our trash or anybody else's trash, it's our cove, our lake, you know. Um, so we are gonna go pick it up. Let's do it. Which side should we start on, I think? Maybe we'll start over here. Okay, Miss Bear, where's the trash at? Let's go find it. I spy our first piece. Oh, look at that beautiful quartz. Oh wait, there's another piece. Some glass. See any over there, Bear? A lot of beer cans. And it's never good beer. <laughs> Big piece here. This one's been bugging me for a while. Ooh, almost missed this one as the water's going up. Aha! This one I saw float by just this morning. All right. What do you think, Bear? You ready? I think we got it all. You did so good. You were such a good helper. Come on. Good baby girl. Thank you for your help. There's one bag less that we'll have to get in the cleanup this fall. <laughs> Yay! As many of you have probably noticed, we're pretty dang religious about keeping our house and our boats clean and doing a lot of preventative maintenance. We just deep cleaned the house and dinghies about a month ago, so no spring cleaning was necessary there. But I have to admit, there is one arena that we could stand to do better in as far as cleaning and maintenance goes, our cars. Y'all know Bling Sauce is our tried and true best friend when it comes to cleaning our boats, but I don't think we've ever shared in the past that the same is true for our cars. A lot of times we use the exact same products that clean our boats on many of the surfaces on our vehicles too. But when we're feeling really fancy and want the brightest shine, we reserve the special platinum line for such occasions. 
Well, I figure since it works so good on the boats, how could it not work on your car? Right. So this black plastic restore is a protectant, but it'll also bring them old black fenders back to life. We both have a good bit of that black plastic trim, so it's good to have a product for that that doesn't make it all greasy, but cleans it. So if you got a dang dog, you know for sure it's going to... Drool. drool oh my gosh and y'all know her like a dog's drool is like nothing else in terms of trying to clean it this stuff works really good on dog drool yeah so this is the side of the car that i could usually uh stands in and you can see down the window all the drool marks and whatnot and those usually just continue down the door as well and where brandon's just wiped you can see totally gone that alone is huge this and it's thick i mean it's like yeah. it's not it's not like a watered down substance it's actually pretty dang good most people sell you water and one thing i really like about that stuff is i have synthetic leather seats in my car and it works just as well on genuine leather as synthetic leather and as you can see on the towel there it cleans the leather in addition to you know, protecting it, UV, all that stuff. And it doesn't have any petrochemicals, no silicone made in the USA, environmentally friendly. It just checks all of our boxes. We love this stuff. Well, it checks to also the boat plane smell because boat plane oh my gosh, always got yes. an odor to it. Odor's not the right word. It has a really pleasant fragrance. It's got the ceramic spray too. It's basically like you'll never have to wax if you use this stuff. It protects the car and it gives it like that shine that everybody wants, so. Oh yeah. I sit in the sun all the time here in the marina. They never really get shade and they're always wet in the morning and all that. This would last a long time. I mean, just a little bit of this goes a long dang way. After using their stuff at the marina on my rental boats for three years, um, I can take a brand new boat, put bling sauce, boat bling, whatever you want to call it on them. On my rental boats that I've had sitting out in the sun for three years, they get 500 to 600 hours a year put on the boats. When I go to sell those boats three years later, they still look brand new. Yeah, and the and same is true for our cars. Our stuff, we're just getting into it. We've just been using boat bling, boat products on our cars for years. And now that they're getting into the car market, if it works on the boats, hell, it ought to work on the dang car. That's right. And we just really appreciate them supporting our channel, you know. Got to give them props because they're helping make these videos possible for you guys too. So big shout out to Bling Sauce. Thanks, guys. <laughs> By the end of the week, and just in time with us feeling on top of our game with our cars, boats, cove, and house nice and clean, the long-awaited tongue and groove boards finally came in for the floating cabin we've been renovating for the past few months. We didn't waste any time getting started pre-staining the boards for installation. You'll have to stick around and see the full ceiling install next week though, part of which took place on a day with hellacious winds that had the house rocking and rolling, which made working overhead on ladders an adventure to say the least. And not one y'all will want to miss. Can't lie here, we are struggle blessing. Morale is low. That was hard. Yeah. Each one keeps getting progressively worse. Maybe we'll sell our house and move in this one. <laughs> we'll see you there.